Uh, anyone else like any more chicken? I think you're the only one with an appetite, Laura. The Harrises brought it over. Did Connie tell you about the Harrises? We used to go skiing together. Our families. Connie, Connie loved skiing. Connie hated skiing. Uh, right, I, I'm sorry, that's what I meant. Connie loved <clears throat> talking about how much she hated skiing. Did you guys, you hung out a lot? Pretty much. Where? You mean like, where did we... Well, mostly, we um, hung out at my house. I mean, um, sometimes we'd come to her house if no one else was here. We would, <clears throat> we would email a lot, though, mostly, uh, so that we didn't have to... <clears throat> she didn't always want to hang out in person, you know? Well, we looked through her emails. There are any from you? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, of course, that's, cause, um, that's because she had a different account. Um, it was a secret account. Uh, I, I should have said that before. That's probably really confusing. Why was it secret? Just so that no one else could... Um, it was just more private that way, I guess. She knew you would read her emails. Somebody had to be the bad guy. Okay, the weird thing is the only time that I saw you with my sister together was when she shoved you at school last week. She shoved you? No, no, I, I tried I was there, I saw the whole thing. She pushed you. Hard. Oh, oh, I remember now. Um, see, that was a misunderstanding. It, because the, the whole thing, she didn't want us to talk at school, and I had tried to, well, tried to talk to her at school. It wasn't a big thing. It, it, was, it was my fault. Why did she want you to talk to her at school? She didn't really want people to know that we were friends. I, I guess she was a little embarrassed. Why would she be embarrassed? Well, I guess because she thought I was sort of, you know... A nerd? Zach. Isn't that what you meant? Loser is actually what I was going to say, but nerd works too. Well, that wasn't very nice. Well, Connie wasn't very nice, so that makes sense. Connie was... She was a complicated person. No. Connie was a bad person. There's a difference. Zach, please. Don't pretend like you don't agree with me. You refuse to see any of the good things. You refuse to look back on Because anything. there were no good things. What were the good things? I don't want to have this conversation in front of our guests. What were the good things, Mom? There Tell me. I remember a lot of good things about Connie. Like what? Never mind. I, I'm so sorry. No, I, I should not, not have done that. You um, were saying something. No, no, no. It really yes, doesn't matter. We want to hear what you have to say. Please. Well, I, I just, Connie and I, we, um, we had a really great time together. It, this one day recently, um, <clears throat> that's something good about Connie. I remember. That's what I keep thinking about. <clears throat> that that day. At the, um, apples, the apples place. I, anyway, um, I know that was stupid. I don't even know why I brought it up, so. She took you to the orchard? Yes, yes, um, yeah, yes, she did. When? Once, it was just that one time, um, but she said the apples there were the best. Yeah, I thought that place closed years ago. Exactly, which is why we were just so bummed out when we got there. <clears throat> it was completely closed down now. We used to go to the orchard all the time. We'd do picnics there. Remember that, Zach? Yeah, I do. You and Connie had that little toy plane that you would fly until you flew it into the creek. Yeah, back then, that was an emergency landing. I can't believe she <laughs> took you there. I bet that was fun. <laughs> yes, y yes, we did. What was the name of that ice cream place that we loved? A la mode. Yes, that's it, a la mode. And they had that hot fudge sundae, and we'd sit in that meadow with the sycamores, and you and your sister, you would look for four-leaf clovers. Oh, I bet, I bet you two had fun. Yeah, the whole day was just end of May or early June, this picture-perfect afternoon we shared. Drive the winding country road, and. Grab a scoop at <laughs> all mode, and then we're there. An open field that's framed with trees. We pick a spot and shoot the breeze like buddies do. Quoting songs by our favorite bands, 
Telling jokes no one understands except us two. And we talk and, and take in the view. All we see is sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. Feels like we could go on for forever this way. Two friends on a perfect day. I've completely forgotten about that place. I guess Connie didn't. We walk a while and talk about the things we'll do when we get out of school. <clears throat> Bike the Appalachian Trail, or, or write a book, or learn to sail. Wouldn't that be cool? There's nothing that we can't discuss Like boys we wish would notice us <clears throat> But never do <clears throat> She looks around and says to me There's nowhere else I'd rather be And I say me too And, and we talk And take in the view We just talk And take in the view Oh, we see a sky for forever we let the world pass by for forever feels like we could go on for forever this way this way all we see is light for forever cause the sun shines bright for forever like we'll be Forever this way Two friends on a perfect day And there she goes racing toward the tallest tree From far across the yellow fields I hear her calling, follow me And there we go, wondering how the world might look from up so high One foot after the other, one branch then to another I climb higher and higher, I climb till the entire sun shines on my face And I suddenly feel the branch give way I'm on the ground My arm goes numb Look around. I see her come to get me. She's come to get me. And, and everything's okay. Oh, we see a sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. But you and I for forever this way This way All we see is light Cause the sun burns bright We could be all bright For forever this way To Thank you, thank you.